I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your go-to place to pick up gift cards, phone refills, and pay your bills with Bitcoin, both on-chain and via the Lightning Network. Check them out now at bitrefill.com and earn sats back as you shop. Bitrefill.com. You typically see these breakdowns in language, right? When the state starts to try and swell beyond its natural bounds. Um, and I think it's it's actually pretty interesting. If you look at the rise of totalitarians historically, they typically want to attack journalism or media, you know, have some control over the flow of information. And then the second uh, real key point of attack is the money itself to actually monopolize and control the money. Um, and I guess if you added the third, you would get the, uh, which it would be energy, right? That's the old Kissinger quote. That I don't know perfectly, but if you control basically food, money, energy, you control the world. Um, so, you know, I guess you would have to ask the question of what's driving all the political polarization that would answer the question why freedom has become such a dirty word. Um, I think there's arguments to be made that the printing of money is actually driving that gap between rich and poor. And I think the political polarity would mirror the economic um, divisiveness that's being created through the printing of money. So admittedly, that's kind of looking at it through one lens, but it is it is a strange world we're living in indeed when a, a word is as essential as freedom that really the entirety of Western civilization is premised on, right? The idea of life, liberty, property, uh, all, all aspects of freedom are being attacked. Um, it's very, very concerning to say the least. And just to echo something that Alex said, you know, like this whole idea of why Bitcoin is useful in that context. I mean, quite simply, Bitcoin just lets people keep their earnings in something that other people can't take, other people being the state or government. I guess up until this point in history, we have operated under the illusion that we needed some governing body to organize society into a, a manageable uh, well-orchestrated whole. But I think that digital technologies, Bitcoin specifically, are actually going to prove in the long run that humans are as capable of self-organization as a flock of starlings. Um, you know, the key to all that really is freedom. You just let nature uh, do its thing, and that includes human nature. So, um, you know, hopefully Bitcoin is is useful in that way that we're just getting back to or getting closer to this ideal of just pure human self-organization without coercion and violence, which is a